Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Yakuza 3 Remastered. Uh, last time we did a load of side quests that we thought... No. We did some more side quests, then we did a different side quest. No, we did the main quest that was kind of like a side quest. And we basically just chased a dog around for a bit. I remember... It was fun. I, I, st I still don't have any emails though. Um, I was sub -stories. I feel like I was halfway through doing a sub story. I can't remember. So straight to the top, which is the. Am I wrong? Why do I feel like there was another sub story? Oh, I need to talk to this guy. Man, life sucks. Oh. Hi, Pooch. He says, Arf. Um. Oh, he tried to go on a date with the girl, Haruka. Ah, Kiryu-san. I couldn't help but overhear. You and that flowery man. Rukiya-kun, was it? Yes, you wanted to make Mitsuo-kun more popular with the ladies, yes? Oh, uh, yeah. I honestly don't know a whole lot about the latest trends, though. I was just going to window shop a bit downtown. I see. In that case, I'd recommend shopping in the store right near the big intersection. I've never actually stepped foot in the place myself, but one of the resident neighborhood wives seems very keen on their products. All right, I'll give it a shock. Thanks, Miyara-san. So... Any boxes? I don't think so. So go right down the big intersection. Got it. So a shop right on the intersection, right? That's a food shop. How's my health looking? I probably could eat. Hello? What do you serve? Oh, you're a pawn shop. Do you have any lost keys in this pawn shop? It doesn't look like it. Because you would probably try to you sell them. For her. I'm here to buy. What do you sell? Popularity bracelet, lucky protective. Uh, so there was no... Oh, that wasn't even food. Ah, a diner. Hello. I would like all of the food, please. What would I like to drink? I will drink a... 25 proof Zampa Awamori, please. And I will also have the Goya Champlu. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Oof, I'd like the check, please. Of course, sir. Why did he say oof? Didn't he like it? Or am I drunk now? Maybe. I'm a little tipsy. I'm just a little tipsy. That's okay. Was there any side quests to do? No, there wasn't. Right. Excuse me, cars coming through. Ah, hello. Hello there, sir. What can I help you with? Hopefully a lot. I'm looking for some children's clothes and maybe an accessory to go with them. Just a moment, sir. Allow me to show you what we have in stock. Pretty limited selection. What should I pick? Uh, dragon print polo, obviously. Fucking American flag. I'm sorry, my brothers across the sea, but nah, we're going with a dragon. I'll take the dragon print polo. Nothing quite like a dragon. I am the dragon of Dejima. Come on. Excellent choice, sir. And for the accessory. Only two options again. Guess I'll go with a 10 gallon hat. 
What's a 10 gallon hat? I mean, I guess sunglasses. What's a 10 gallon hat? I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it because I don't know what a 10 gallon hat is. Do, 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 do. I mean, if they're really cool, then let's go with that. Otherwise, let's go with ugh, boring sunglasses. 10 gallon hat. Uh, oh, like a Stetson. Like a cowboy hat. Okay. Um, no, we're going to go sunglasses. Cowboy hats don't fit with the dragon theme we're going for. Because I'm such a fashionista. I know these things. I'll go with the sunglasses. Not much cooler than that. Very good, sir. Dragon Brit Polo and sunglasses comes to 2,000 yen, sir. Okie coke. I got Mitsuo stylish clothes. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, now to get home and show Rikia what's what. Good. Let's go and show Rikia who's boss. I will show him that I am the master of fashion, not he. Hello, Rakia. Well, Anarchy, ready to get the fashion beat down? Actually, I'm pretty confident. How are you feeling, Rakia? Oh, you don't got to worry about me. I'll be just fine. Let me go grab Mitsuo. We're back, Anarchy. What is it, Uncle Kaz? I'm not really feeling so good. You'll feel better soon, Mitsuo. We're going to give you a fashion makeover. Oh, really? Heck yeah, you're going to have to claw the ladies off you, and it'll be all thanks to me and my amazing yeah. taste. I don't know about this. Come on, it'll be fine. All you got to do is put the clothes on and tell us what you like better. You can start with mine. I got your sunglasses and a dragon print polo. Uh, you got to be kidding me, Anarchy. The kid's going to be too shy to look in the damn mirror if you dress him up like that. Really? But I thought fashion was all about standing out. Oh, he's going to stand out, all right, like a sore freaking thumb. Hmm. Not to worry, Mitsuo. I've got the solution to all your girl troubles right here. Okay, what is it, Uncle Rikia? Man, you're going to love this. Ta-da! A short jacket, baggy pants, and of course you can't go anywhere without a nice old school bag. It's kind of squished, but who cares? Um, Come on, it's my old gear from when I was in junior high. Took a while to round it all up, mind you. Girls go gaga for this bad boy stuff, trust me. You'll have to beat them off with a stick. Well, you want it, right? No way. Huh? But... But you don't want to look cool? Yeah, that's why I'm not taking your clothes. Nobody wears stuff like that anymore. And besides, why would I wear your junior high clothes? I'm in elementary school. I'd rather take the things Uncle Kaz picked out. Heh, <laughs> who's behind the times now, Rikia? I haven't seen clothes like that in years. Not like you did any better. Don't be like that. You lost fair and square. To me, an old-timer. Why don't you go get chains, Mitsuo? Alright, but I'm not really feeling this either. Let's try it on. It's good to change up your vibe sometimes. If you say so. Oh, hell yeah. Look at him. Are you, are you sure this is cool? It feels kind of nut. Yeah, you look like a Yakuza in training. I don't think it's that bad. And hey, doesn't the dragon print make you feel closer to your Uncle Kaz? It's always dragons with you, Anarchy. It's alright, Mitsuo. Get over there and show Riona what you've got. Okay. I like how I'm still a bit pissed from uh, dinner as well. Hey, Riona, I couldn't find anyone else to go to the movie with me, so are you sure you don't want to come? Uh, what are you wearing? I wouldn't be caught dead in a movie theatre with a guy that dressed like that. Anyway, I already said I have, I have plans. Right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, kid. Shit. He got flat out rejected and insulted to boot. Hmm. Maybe she's just not into me, Uncle Kaz. Hey, you can't give up after one small failure. You have to keep trying, Mitsuo. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think maybe, maybe you should. She said no. 
going to be a little bit pestery if you keep on. Especially considering you live with the girl. Maybe. But I think she likes this guy Akada from my class. Then you'll just have to prove you're better than him. What? But he's really cool. And his dad's super rich. But you don't even know if he likes her. You can't ignore how you feel, Mitsuo. Huh? Well, you like her, right? Yeah, I really like her. Then you know what you need to do. You're right. I'm not going to give up. Anyway, I should go grab Taichi. He said he'd see the movie with me if Riona didn't want to go. Glad you have someone to go with. It's a shame Mitsuo couldn't get Riona to go with him, but I guess she did have other plans. Maybe I should head into town and keep an eye on Mitsuo and Taichi. Oh, good. Yes, that seems like something I definitely should do. Uncle Kaz! What's up, Riona? Do you know where Haruka-chan is? I need to talk to her. Probably out shopping for ghosties if she's not home. Huh? But I need her now! What's the rush? Well, I'm going to go hang out with some friends from school, so I was trying to make a bento. But I can't figure out how to make duro wakashi. You know, the mashed taro with pork. I've definitely seen Haruka-chan make it before, but I can't find her anywhere. Do you know how to make it, Uncle Kaz? More or less. I'm not a local, but I can manage. Uh, I hope you do, because if you're going to ask me to do it, then I don't have a clue what anyone's talking about. Really? Come on, teach me. Let's go. Okay. All right, all right. Calm down. So, think you understand? Yeah! Thanks, Uncle Kaz. I didn't realize you could make stuff that wasn't curry. I guess my menu has been a bit limited at times. Anyway, go have fun, and stay out of the street. Okay, right. Yeah. Hi, Riona chan What are you making that bento for? Are you going on a date? Uh. Yeah, though it's not going to be just us. Is it with Mitsuo? Uh. What? No. Oh. Well, I think you two would be good together. I know he's kind of immature sometimes, but you'd be happy with him, Riona-chan. Look, it's not going to happen, Haruka-chan. I just can't see myself dating a black guy. <gasps> Riona! Sorry, that came out wrong. Anyway, I have to go. Sounds like she doesn't like Mitsuo because he's different. That's not how I raised her. What the heck? Riona nearly ran into me. Taichi, huh? Oh, hi, Uncle Kaz. Aren't you supposed to be the movies with Mitsuo? I was gonna go, but then he told me it was some gross love story. I don't want to see that with him. And where is he now? I don't know, he just kind of walked off. He didn't look too happy. Do you remember which direction he went in? Pretty sure it was over towards downtown. Oh, I bet he's gonna go see the movie by himself. Hmm, sounds like I should check up on him. Find Mitsuo. I hope Mitsuo is okay. My best bet would be head downtown to see if I can head him off. Right, off we go then. Off we pop. Wherefore art thou, Mitsuo? Movie theatre? Has anyone seen a little boy trying to go to the movies? Anybody seen it? Anybody seen it? If you were gonna be a movie theatre, where would you be? Hey man, you're looking pretty unsteady. You okay? You might get attacked by someone like me. Those stamps are so funny. Oh, you're stronger than you look. Sorry for ruining your good time. I got a saliva flecked stamina XX. Oh, I don't want your spitty bottle. Oh. Oh. Where are you, Mitsuo? Oof. Is 
the movie theater down here, perhaps. Oh, I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to need your wallets. I've been taking those hostesses. So they've got expensive tastes. You're going to give it to me. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't everyone know who I am by now? Kind of. A big deal. Uh, where's... Oh, hello. <laughs> and goodbye. Oof. I felt like I burned off all those calories and then some. Sorry for bothering you. Have some money. Have a soothing 10,000 yen. Thank you, Mr. Yakuza friend. Where? Excuse me, cars. Beep beep. Here he is. Hey, mit wait. That's Riona. And those must be her friends from school. Where to next, Akada kun? I'll go anywhere as long as you're there with me. My dad has a hotel pretty close to here with a big pool. Maybe we can go for a swim. Wow, that sounds amazing, Akada kun. Heck yeah, I've never been to a hotel pool before. Um, something wrong, Riona chan? No, it's... it's nothing. Oh yeah, Riona has that gross burn on her arm. She's probably too much of a wimp to go in the pool, because then everyone would be able to see it. Wait, is it really that gross? I want to see it, come on. Stop it, please. <laughs> the fuck? Kids are outrageous. It. Do what all men do ever when a girl's crying, stand around looking really, really awkward and not really knowing what to do. Perfection. Ow! Sorry, just a little more. Huh? What's going on? Looks like Mitsuo didn't need your help after all. Not like your suggestion was any better. Did you say something? Nope, nothing at all. Ha ha! By the way, Rukia, you should probably go grab your bags. Our flight's pretty soon. Huh? Shit on a stick, you're right. Let's head home real quick. And I'll be back before you know it. See you in a bit, Anarchy. I thought we were leaving him behind. Sorry, Rukia. This has to be a one-man job. Okay, we are leaving him behind. Let's uh, pet the dog first, obviously. Hey, Pooch. Why can't you pet? Pet the dog! 
pet that all I want to do is pet the dog. Hmm. Okay. What next is I was worried about how things would turn out. Looks like Creona's blah blah blah. Do I that? Hey, Uncle Kaz, let's play some baseball. I guess I do have a little bit of time before I go. All right, but just a bit, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped. Hey, guys. Uncle Kaz is going to play with us. We'll meet you down at the beach, okay? Don't make us wait. Baseball boys, baseball girls. Move out! And baseball dog. Baseball pooch. Okay, to the beach. Are you joining in, Pooch? Oh. Who's that? Maybe not with the baseball bat. Hmm. I don't recognize that kid. No. Hey, do you live around here? Yeah. Cool, I'm Koji. What's your name? It's Akira. Well, Akira, you want to play with... <gasps> Be careful with him. He has crazy powers and turns into a giant blob monster. Well, Akira, you want to play with us? You know how to play baseball, right? I, uh... Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, let's play. But I've never played before. I bet I'm really bad at it, just like I'm bad at everything else. P is the only time I play sports, and even then I always get picked last. Don't worry, we'll teach you. But... We were just saying how we needed another guy. Come on. Huh? We've got two girls and five boys, so one more boy will even out the teams. Right, Taichi? Ah. Yeah, we'd love you to join. Some of the other kids are pretty young too, so we won't go too hard, promise. Mm. Alright, maybe I could play a bit, thanks. Okay. But now you don't need me. Uh, get rid of get rid of the loser. I want to play. Hi, Uncle Kaz. This is our new friend, Akira Kun. Hello. Looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah, we're teaching Akira Kun how to bat since he's never played baseball before. It's not going so good though. I know Uncle Kaz. You hit some balls and we'll try to catch them. Sounds fun, right? Yeah, I don't mind taking a few swings. Awesome. Come on, Akira Kun. Let's go catch some fly balls. Okay. Oh God. Uh, move the bat around and swing bat. Okay. Where do I move? Press X at the right time to hit the ball that Mitsuo throws at you. Hit 10 balls to finish fielding practice. Help the kids practice their field by hitting the balls that Mitsuo throws at you. Okay. I missed. I will try again, Mitsuo. Yay! Yes. I think I might have hit that one a bit far. I don't think they can catch it. Yes. Okay, I managed to hit that one just. I missed! Fuck. Come on, kid. Throw faster. I said faster. This is your fault, not mine. Nice. I'm really bad at this game. Why ten times? Why not three? Off they go. Use. 
right into the ocean. See that? Go swimming, children. I am beast in the mall. Yay! That counts as a hit, even if it was really late. Why does he keep saying yush? I wonder what that means. Yeah, everyone in the water. <laughs> oh, was that a home run? Is that what that meant? Maybe. Phew, that was a good workout. Well, akira -kun, that was pretty fun, right? Yeah, then we're done warming up. Time to play for real. For real? Yep, we don't have enough people for a game or anything, but we take turns at bat and everyone else plays defense. Where should we put akira -kun? How about right field? It's the perfect spot for beginners. Good idea. Everyone get into position. Wait. What's right field? Seriously, you don't know? Lay off him, Tai Chi. It's his first time, remember? Yeah, Tai Chi. Right field's over there, pretty far from the batter. Just stand back there and get the ball if it comes your way. Then throw it to Mitsuo, okay? You'll be fine, Akira. All right. All you need is a little confidence, Akira. Just believe in yourself. Anyway, I'm going to head inside for a bit. Keep an eye on him, Koji. Ah. Will do. Let's get you in position, Akira. -kun. Then proceeds to run in the opposite direction to where Akira went. I'm gonna go get the box, okay guys? Gotta keep our beaches clean. There's a squishy ball. I guess I'll keep it. I got a squishy ball. Can I give the dog the squishy ball? Because I feel that's probably what it's for, right? Kids can throw this around without getting hurt. I can't use it here. Hey, buddy, do you want a squishy ball? No. Okay, I'll keep it. Maybe later, huh? Uncle Kaz! A kirikun, he! Baseball? What in the world were you thinking? Do you hear me, young man? My Akira-chan is a fragile boy. He can't play sports with you ruffians. What happened, Koji? Well, akira can tripped and hit his head whilst he was running after a fly ball. Running? Does my Akira-chan look like the kind of boy who runs? How dare you! I don't see why not. Does he have some kind of health condition that keeps him from exercising? Well, no, but baseball is absurdly dangerous. I can't believe you would let your children play it unsupervised. How dangerous can it be with a rubber ball and a plastic bat? Besides, it's totally normal for kids their age to be playing sport on their own. It's okay, Uncle Kaz. This was all my fault. I made Akira can do it. Hello? What's going on in here? Oh, Miyamura-san. I rushed over as soon as I heard what happened to your son. I'm terribly sorry. Oh. Sorry isn't good enough, Hashimoto-sensei. Just what are you teaching these children, huh? The school board is going to hear about this. I can promise you that. The school has nothing to do with it. Uh, why is it that you always seem to be at the centre of my problems, Kiryu-san? What was that? Mm -hmm. Wait, you know this brute, Hashimoto-sensei? Yeah. Not exactly. He runs this orphanage, though. These foul-tempered orphans of his caused quite a bit of trouble for my son recently. <laughs> what? Then it's possible they forced my poor, sweet Akira-chan to play that horrible game with them. I simply cannot stand for this. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, young man? The silly game was just an excuse to bully my innocent boy, wasn't it? Tell me the truth. Koji's no bully. How am I supposed to believe that after what my Akira, after what happened to my Akira-chan? Police! I want the police here! Yes, ma'am. I'll call them right away. Oh, don't worry, Akira-chan. The nice cops will be here soon. Koji-kun. Akira-kun. I'm so sorry. You guys let me play with you. Then I had to go and mess it all up. It was fun, though, baseball. Maybe we can play again sometime once I get better. Of course. Baseball, Akira-chan. What are you saying? You must have hit your head even harder than you realized. 
and don't get any ideas about seeing these awful orphans again. I'm forbidding you from ever coming back here. <sighs> They're not awful, Mum. And they didn't pressure me into playing with them. I wanted to. Koji Kun and Taichi Kun are really nice. Way nicer than the other kids in my class, so don't be mean to them. But Akira-chan. No, Mum. Everyone here gets along so well. Nobody would ever bully me. Not like at school. What? You're being bullied at school? Sometimes. By who? Tell me his name. Oh, please be the teacher's son. That'd be hilarious. これは。あなた教師ですよ。一体子供にどんな教育をしてるの。早く良くなってよ。まだまだいっぱい教えてやるから野球。バイバイ。Bye bye. Well, that's a helicopter mom if ever I've seen one. She didn't mean what she said, Koji. Don't let it get to you, okay? Oh. I won't, especially because I made a new friend out of it. Hmm, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good kid, Koji. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Kaz? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Just let me know when you're going to leave, okay? I'll get the others to come say goodbye. Or are you leaving now? Yep, time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. Okay, just a second. I'll grab everyone. Thanks, Haruka. どうしたの、おじさん、その格好。実は今日から1週間くらい東京に行く。マジかよ。え、いいな。私も行きたい。そうだよ。一緒に連れてってよ。みんなで行こうよ。聞いてくれ。旅行に行くわけじゃないんだ
Hmm? Oh, hey, you're the guy from Camaracho. I remember you. Do you recognize us? How could I not? I see you're still together somehow. Of course we are. Don't tell me you want to get between me and my amazing Mizuki-chan. Sorry, but this angel is mine. Actually, I just want to make sure you're not going to try to kill yourself again. I have enough to deal with without you lovebirds getting in trouble in front of my orphanage. Me? Kill myself? Why would I do that? Mizuki-chan and I have always had a wonderfully close relationship. Right, Mizuki-chan? <laughs> oh, Akimoto-kun, you're going to make me blush. Where'd you get the money to go on vacation in Okinawa, anyway? It's part of the loan I took out for our wedding. Though we haven't officially tied the knot yet, we're just engaged. Oh, no. Engaged? That's right, Akimoto-kun is my fiancé now. Good for you, I guess. You'll still need to leave, though. I hate to break it to you, but this beach isn't open to the public. Not to mention the fact that it's not even beach season. Go frolic somewhere else. What gives? It's not like this, belong this beach belongs to you or anything. This frolicking is going to make a great story to tell our kids someday. That's right. We've made so many wonderful memories here. Right, Akimoto-kun? We sure have, Mizuki-chan. Hey, Akimoto-kun. I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, let's go to the public market to eat. Yeah! You think that'll they'll be okay, Uncle Kez? As long as they keep their heads low, but I wouldn't count on that. Are they someone we met at the start of the game and I just... Forgot? Or are they from a different game? There's a prawn! Right, come on, Herakachan. To the public markets. <laughs> to the pub. Lick market. So, Harika, this is how you cross a road safely. <laughs> Just like that. I haven't seen you around here before. This is our turf. Think you just ignore us? Oh, come on! I've got the kids with me. Hello. I'm sorry I stopped you. Take this. Uh, what was this? I wasn't paying attention. A shard of glass. Shard of tempered glass. This shard of tempered glass is actually bulletproof. Too small to block bullets now. <laughs> what? I have a lot of stuff to get, so you can wait here, Uncle Kaz. Or maybe go upstairs. I think there are supposed to be some good restaurants up there. Sure, I'll take a look. Is she going to get in trouble? I don't know dirty perverts are following my children around. Um, those two again. That was delicious, wasn't it, Mizuki-chan? Yeah, I feel bad for making you pay for all this food, though. Come on, it's no problem at all. After all, being here with you is priceless to me. Aw, thanks, Hakamoto-kun. So, where to next? Well, I was thinking of getting some souvenirs for my friends back home. Where do you think we can get some? Hmm. I think there's a place called Stone Market out on the main street. Maybe they'll have something. Okay, let's give it a shot. Anything you say, my dear Mizuki-chan. I have to say, though, Hakamoto-kun, I had no idea you knew so much about Okinawa. Ha 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 ha! I spent many sleepless nights researching the islands just for this occasion. That's amazing, Hakamoto-kun. Looks like they're heading to Stone Market for souvenirs. This vacation seems surprisingly normal. Maybe I should check in on them over there, just in case. Why am I being a creepy stalker now? Hello! Ain't gonna be no one in this town who don't know me. Like hell, you can just walk by a Yakuza without showing him respect. Oh, I will show you respect, my friend. <laughs> With my fists. I missed. Let's 
Sorry. Are you dead? Who's still alive? Okay, now you're dead. Holy shit, you're strong. Wait, aren't you a former Yakuza? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me. This is an apology. A common 20,000 yen. Thank you for the common money. You fucking peasant. Right, let's go and stalk that happy vacation holiday couple. I'm back, Uncle Kaz. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. You get everything you need? Yep, that should be enough to last us like three days. Where's the food? Oh, I bought so much they said they'll bring it over for me. Perks of being a regular. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh. I didn't even know they offered that kind of service. I don't think they normally do. Uh, but I get all of our food over here, and we need so much to feed all the kids, so they make an exception for me. Anyway, you should probably start heading to the airport, Uncle Kaz. Right. Want me to walk you back to the monorail before I go? Yes, please. Wait, but first, shouldn't we go to, yeah, Stone Market? Because we've got to be dirty stalkers and stalk the, uh, the happy couple. Those two again. Wow, we sure bought a lot of souvenirs. Thank you so much, Akimoto-kun. This makes me so happy. But of course, my love. After all, they're all mementos of the first vacation we ever spent together. Hee hee hee. Maybe we should buy more then. <laughs> Great idea. Oh man, I'm so happy. Okinawa's the best. Hey, they're actually doing pretty well. Yeah, looks like there was no need to worry. So, how about we head back to the hotel and get a little more comfortable? Oh, uh, what's wrong, Mizuki-chan? I, uh, think I forgot something at the beach. Can I run back and get it? Of course. I can handle it by myself. Don't worry, I'll meet you back at the hotel, Akimoto-kun. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I'm coming too. But I need to take all this... <laughs> but I need to take all this to the pawn sh I mean, it's my fault for being such a dummy. I'd feel bad if I dragged you along. No way. I'm not leaving your side. Not for a single moment. Now let's get back to that beach. Okay. Oh, she's so dejected. Poor girl. That poor, poor gold digger. Something was up with Mizuki-san. You're right about that. It sounded like they were heading back to the beach over by Morning Glory. We should probably go keep an eye on them. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm kind of worried. Okay. Keep up, Paraka. Don't get left behind. I am much faster than you. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Kaz? Those weird people said they were going to go to our beach, though. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, let's go check on them. Yeah, we should stop back home first. To the beach. Yes. I hope they're going to be okay. What's wrong, Koji? Hey, Haruka, did you see the couple that was swimming here earlier? Yeah, it looked like they were really happy together, right? I don't know about that. They were just here again, and I'm pretty sure they were fighting about something. What? Why? I don't know. They walked off down the beach before I could hear what was going on. Should we go check up on them, Uncle Kaz? Uh, all couples fight every now and No, I'm worried. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about them. Then let's go! Hey, did you see that? Yeah, I hope they're alright. Shouldn't we help them before it gets out of hand? Uncle Kaz, look! Don't tell me. It's them. I should have known it'd end up like this again. Mizuki-chan, I knew you were lying to me. Wait, Akimoto-kun, you have to believe me. No, uh not this time. I'm not falling for this again. Hey, cut it out. Yeah, let's all take a deep breath and talk it out. No, I finally see what's going on here. Mizuki-chan has been swindling me from the very start. Hold on, didn't you just get engaged? Yeah, just as I thought it was finally time to make Mizuki-chan my one and only. I realized she was only ever after my money. She was never planning to marry me. You've got it all wrong, Akimoto-kun. Do you have any proof? Yeah, the first time I thought something was wrong was when we were flying down here. 
I went out of my way to buy expensive tickets for us, but Mizuki Chen cancelled her ticket and bought a cheap one instead. Because of that, I had to sit next to this smelly old lady the whole way to an hour. I, uh... You got the ticket reimbursed and took the leftover cash for yourself, didn't you? There's a reason I did that, I swear. She wanted to help the old lady? She probably wasn't feeling well. What to help the old lady? She probably wanted to help the old lady and ended up sitting next... Uh, you ended up sitting next to. Is that why you gave up your seat, Mizuki? Yeah, she had a terrible back problem, so I gave her my much more comfortable seat. Really? I'm sorry, Akamoto-kun. I know you went out of your way to buy me that expensive ticket. It's totally fine. You're such a kind person, Mizuki-chan. Do you trust me now, Akamoto-kun? Well, well, no. That wasn't the only thing. There's still more. Like the hotel. Why did we have to get separate rooms? Well, the truth is, my mum found out we were going on this trip. She said she didn't want me to sleep in the same room as you until we got married. Oh, what do we do? She couldn't say no to her mom. <laughs> Hoping for some action, Akimoto. I see what you were after, Akimoto. There's only one reason why you'd want to share a hotel room. What are you implying? I was just... I just wanted to be with Mizuki-chan so I could watch over her. I always worry about her. Akimoto-kun, this was supposed to be a fun, relaxing vacation. I can't believe you have such a dirty mind. No, you've got it all wrong, Mizuki-chan. Damn it. This is all your fault. Why do you have to go and say that? Besides, I still can't trust you, Mizuki-chan. I mean, we're not engaged, but you don't ever wear your ring. Why not? Uh, we are engaged, but you don't wear your ring. Why not? Well, the truth is, I don't actually like diamonds. What? I watched a documentary about people in foreign countries who die in horrific conditions of diamond mines. I couldn't bear to wear a diamond after that. That's very honourable of her. That's an honourable thing for Mizuki to do. You should try to understand where she's coming from. I just couldn't get the image of those poor, suffering people out of my head. So I couldn't wear it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I'd known. Still, maybe you could just wear it for me every now and then. Huh? But I already pawned. I mean, I'll put it on for you once we get back to Tokyo. Hold on. I'm not done. What about those documents we signed when we got engaged? What were those about, huh? She made you sign documents? Yeah, it was a contract for life insurance. I was just worried that if something happened to you, I'd... Why are you the beneficiary on the contract when we're not even married yet? Because it's my job to handle the family finances. I'm just getting ready for our future together. Even if you die, it'll all be okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way, even if you die, everything will be okay. Right, <laughs> even if something happens to you, it'll all work out. Oh, wow. So I don't have to worry about what might happen. Wait, hold on. I'm not going to let you swindle me again. Akamoto-kun, Mizuki-chan. What about our baby? Remember when you told me you were pregnant? When is the baby due? It's been two years. <laughs> well, it turns out I was wrong. I wasn't actually pregnant. Uh, false pregnancies happen all the time. You can't blame her for that. What are you talking about? I already bought the whole uh, a whole bunch of baby supplies thinking it would be born any day. I even asked my relatives for names. All that effort was for nothing. And it's your fault. Mizuki-chan. Mizuki -chan. There's one more thing I have to ask you. What is it, Akimoto-kun? Do you really love me? What are you saying? Of course I do, Akimoto-kun. Then let's get married, right here, right now. I'm sorry, Akimoto-kun, I can't do that. But why? Were you just using me after all? The fuck? あ、<笑><笑><笑> もう席に入ってるってことだ。やった。やったぞ。
What? Let's enjoy the ve the rest of our vacation together, big brother. This is uh, horrendously creepy, Mizuki. Why the fuck would you keep that a secret and pretend like you were... Well, actually engaged. Why would you actually engage your brother, you <laughs> fucking weirdo? I can't help but blush when you put it like that. Well, I guess there was nothing to worry about after all. Yeah, I guess not. Ah, I mean... There really is, Haruka. There really is. Okay. Now I'm going to the airport. Definitely for real. Definitely. Oh. I can also... I would like to upgrade this so that I can... Combo attack speed. Combo attack speed. Uh, and then to the airport. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Kaz? Uh, yes, it is. I should probably get going. Okay, don't get in too much trouble, Uncle Kaz. Same to you. Make sure you can make it home from here, right? Come on, I'm a big girl. I'm going to junior high next month, remember? Sorry. Anyway, gotta run. Keep an eye on everyone for me whilst I'm gone, Haruka. I'll be the best babysitter ever. She's really gotten so mature. Well, better head to the airport. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, you there. Oh, yeah, you're perfect, man. That physique, that mystique. Just perfect. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry for creeping you out. The name's Mac. I travel the globe, photo uh, photographing only the absolute coolest shit the world has ever seen. Right. I'm Kiryu. Do you need something? I kind of have places to be. Kiryu san You know what a revelation is, Kiryu san It's something like an epiphany, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, my man. Let me tell you. Every single shot I take tries to drag the pure beauty out of everything. Nature, people, the works. Now, a revelation, that's basically a moment of mental clarity that only comes when you see that pure beauty. Want to learn how to learn them, Kiryu-san? I promise they'll come in major handy. Oh, so you're not a creep. Guess that's what I get for assuming. Either way, I'm not much of a photographer. I don't even own a camera. Oh, <laughs> oh no problem, old big boy. Anything will work, even a phone camera. You see, it's all about the method, not the tool. Trust me, Kiryu-san. I got a third eye for talent, and you've got it oozing out of your pores. Oh, uh, thanks. Anyway, are you sure this will work with just my phone camera? Of course. Step on over here for a sec. Okay. Now where's that shot? Hmm. Ah, Kiryu-san, I can feel it. There you go. Take a peek at, this, uh, peek at that sweet old bag of bones on that scooter. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Something's gonna go down here, believe you me. And when it does, a flash of inspiration is gonna strike you like a friggin' sledgehammer to the temple. Oh, and don't forget to blog about it afterwards. It's gotta spread the love, get those sweet, sweet internet points. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't worry, I'll show you the ropes. So that she isn't moving, which is handy, I guess. See, all you got to do is spill your heart out. Press that big red update button and voila. Huh? See, not so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Now then, Kiryu-san, keep your eyes tuned on that scooter and get ready to be inspired. Is this really going to work? Guess I'll find out soon enough. When you see something interesting, get close and press R3. If the look message appears, inspiration is just a camera flash away. Then hit the right buttons at the right time to take photos of your inspiration. If you successfully take all three photos, you will have the opportunity to prove what you've learned. Okay.
た<laughs> the fuck is this game? <laughs> Uh, leap, flip, and stick the landing. Hit the enemy while they're distracted. She stayed at work the whole time. Must be pretty tough. Uh, hit the enemy while they're distracted. Yeah, definitely that one. <laughs> oh, Kiri, you put so much effort into everything. Oh my god! My god! Oh man, you were so close. Hold up, she's going to do it again. Try and get the perfect shot this time, Kiri-san. Wait. What didn't I get right? What didn't I get right? I'm so confused. Is there like a... Is there like a... <laughs> if he says that I didn't didn't do it right again this time, then I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, leap, flip, stick the landing, magnificent. <laughs> Ah. Oh, I see. So the revelation is that you learn a new move because of something you've seen. Um, hey there, Kazuma here, starting this blog about these things called revelations. Inspirations I get from some of the crazy things that happen around town. This one's about the picture on the right. They say love is blind, and apparently it hits even when you're riding a bike. Now I have an amazing move to make use of my surroundings. You learn the essence of jumping. Yes! <laughs> yes! Great, Kiri's hand. Learn how to sail the execution. That turned out even better than I had imagined. Can't say I expected much, but I actually learned something. Thanks for the tip, Mac. Of course, Kiri's hand. Seeing you see what you saw. But <laughs> seeing you see what you saw, it felt like I was learning too. You know, I think you might be the guy who finally takes the perfect shot I've been after all these years. What do you mean, perfect shot? That's the thing. I don't know what it is. I've touched hearts and minds in my photos, but I've never been satisfied with my work. So I guess the perfect shot would be something that touches me just like I touched those other people. Huh, makes sense. Anyway, I'm off to travel the world. The cliffs of Machu Picchu, the splendor of Angkor Wat and the natural grandeur of the Norwegian fjords. <gasps> Norway! Yay! Who knows where inspiration will strike. Oh, and I won't be leaving you in the dark either. I'll shoot you an email if I hear of anything that might lead to a revelation. Sounds good. Later, Mac. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Until we meet again, curious son. Oh, that was something. Time to go. Hello? Yo, Uncle Kaz. Hey, Taichi, what's up? Oh, nothing. Izumi just keeps complaining she's bored. If you could come back to Morning Glory for a bit, that'd be real great. If, you know, you have the time. That should be fine. No pressure, though. I know you're out there doing your thing, whatever it is. Hope to see you soon, Uncle Kaz. Maybe I'd better stop by Morning Glory before I head to Camarocho. Those kids need me. I mean, how long ago was this? F I feel like the Max back. Surf's up, curious Sand. That's how the bros in California say hello. Anyway, Japanese is kind of tough. My girlfriend's been teaching me, but I just end up using all sorts of weird words. I hope you don't mind if I unleash some of my practice on you. Anyway, I'll hit you up whenever I get some sweet deets on the perfect shot. Stay tuned for more. Oh, and don't forget to upload your shots to a blog. 
Wait, what do you mean California? We you were just with me, like two seconds ago. Ludicrous. Right. So apparently the flight lasts forever. It never takes off until we personally get on the plane. Which is handy. Very, very handy. Right. Hello, children. Who's bored? What up? Man, I'm so bored right now. Isn't there anything fun we can do? Well, there's nothing on TV. I checked all the channels. I must have to read my. Uh, I must have read my manga a thousand times too. Hey, I know. Let's make up a game. Come on, it'll be fun. Hey, kids, what are you three up to? <sighs> nothing. That's the problem. We're practically dying of boredom, Uncle Kaz. Oh yeah, I can think of plenty for you to do. But you're just going to make us do chores, Uncle Kaz. Even doing nothing is better than that. What about your homework then? <laughs> we already finished it. Every last page. I got it. Why don't we go play hide and seek? Uncle Kaz could be it. Hmm. Now that's something I haven't played in ages. Sure. It's not like I have a flight to catch or anything. <laughs> yes. With Uncle Kaz hot on our tails, this will be the best game of hide and seek ever. I'll go get Eri Chan too. Sure has been a while. It might be nice to go outside too. Oh, and by the way, Uncle Kaz, Izumi will start crying if you find her too quick. So try to save her for last, okay? Got it. It's nice of you to look out for her like that, Tai Chi. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm basically the big brother around here. Gotta make sure everyone's happy. Okay, Eri Chan's here. Uh, nope, I couldn't find Haruka Chan and everyone else is busy cooking or something. Hey, Izumi Chan, can we hide together? Not this time. Uncle Kaz would spot us in a millisecond. Okay, everyone, you're allowed to hide inside and in the front yard. Uncle Kaz, uh, we'll count to ten while we all go hide. Everyone got it? Then on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ich ni san yon go roku shichi hachi ku. Ju, ready or not, here I come. Would you find one of the kids? Press R3 to switch to first person perspective. Make your presence known by looking directly at them. Leave no child behind. But if you want to call it quits, just walk away. <laughs> okay. Right, first of all, is anyone stupidly hiding in this room? I hope not. We're going to start in the bathroom. Is anyone... Hmm. 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 Okay. I'll let you off then. No one came this way. Is anyone in here? Is it cheating if I... Uh... What's going on in here? Oh, we're making dessert. The lady next door gave us a lot of fruit, so we're using some gelatin to make it into something tasty. We're making pudding too. Looks delicious, you two. By the way, you didn't notice anyone hiding around here, did you? No, I don't think so. Wait, are you guys playing hide-and-seek? It's against the rules to ask for help. Right, I guess even your Uncle Kaz forgets the rules sometimes. Uncle Kaz, you're going to miss your flight if you don't hurry. Yeah, that's true. Right, where... Or all the people. <gasps> Shiny! Why is there a UQ locker key in my house? And I thought this game would be really easy, but all of the kids have vanished. Where are they? They also said front yard, I guess. Why can't I use camera mode out here? Uh, wait, who are you? 
I'm not allowed to get you first, I've been told. I have to get you last. I can literally see you, but I can't point the camera at you. Aha, that must be Eri. No, we'll save her second to last as well. Now that I know where Eri... This spot's not great, but I don't think he sees me yet. Okay, so there's Eri. There's uh, Izumi. There's a worm. What's up, Pooch? How did I miss the other two? Are they just that good at hiding from me? Ah. Huh. Oh, wait. We missed this door. Didn't we? We did miss this door. Ah, maybe they were lying to me about no one hiding in here. What do you think? Hello? Is anyone hiding? And if you are, make yourselves known immediately. I can't go in there. I don't think they're allowed to hide out there. That would be like really cheating. Did someone actually hide in here whilst I had my eyes closed? I don't think so. Hmm. Where are you children? It's a good job I don't have a plane to catch. Why can't I use my uh, camera in here, first person mode? I, do, I just feel like someone's behind this door, but maybe not. Do you know what I mean? Like... Close the door. Right, let's go find the other two, because I know where they are. And I don't believe... So we'll find you first, stupid, stupid little girl. Gotcha. Gotcha, Eri. Huh? Oh, rats. Aww. That was way too quick, Uncle Kaz. I wish I could have stayed hidden a little longer. Sorry, Eri. That's just part of the game. Now on to the next one. Right. Is anyone hiding in these bushes out here? Huh? What about these bushes over here? Well, there's you over there. I will take the worm. I like how they all appear in exactly the same place. It's perfect. Right. Anyone hiding in these bushes? I don't think so. Right, I'm gonna... Oh wait, he's right there. I see you. Is that Shiro I see there? Gotcha! Uh? What? But this spot's never failed me before. 
You're great at this, Uncle Kaz. No one ever sees me back there. I guess you learned something new about me today. Well, on to the next one. Yeah, because you've got an awful hiding place, so... He's hiding on the roof, the little fucker. That's definitely Tai Chi. How do you even get up there? Gotcha! Oh, man. I thought you were never going to find me. Wow, you're even better at this than I thought, Uncle Kaz. How did you even find me up there? Oh, you know, I have a lot of practice from when I was a kid. But hey, you win some, you lose some. On to the next. Right, and this should be the last one, right? Looks like I found Azumi. Got you, Azumi. What? You actually found me? And I was keeping so still, too. You had a great hiding spot, Azumi. That's why it took me so long to find you. Anyway, let's go meet up with the others. Well, I found everyone. Did you all enjoy yourselves? Yeah, I thought we made it pretty tough for you, but I guess not. I was the very last one. Didn't I do a good job hiding, Uncle Kaz? You sure did, Azumi. You were the best. Good one, Uncle Kaz. Thanks for doing that for her. No problem. <laughs> Wasn't it fun playing together with everyone? Let's do this again sometime. But I promise it won't be any easier. I hope not. Come on, everyone. Let's go study. See you later, Uncle Kaz. Right. Now, I'm going to the airport. I'm going to the fucking airport. I'm going to catch my fucking plane. I can use the monorail to get to the airport. I would like to go to Camarocho, please. Yes. Take the monorail to the airport and fly to Camarocho. Yup. Meanwhile, in Minato, Tokyo. ちょ、本日のスケジュールですが、先ほど柏木様より Meanwhile, in Chinatown, Yokohama. Chugugutuna <laughs> 自分が生きるためなら何でも食う。俺はよ、私は、マフィアじゃない。た、ただの隣人だよ。仲良くしようぜ。
かなあんたらが今まで日本人からぼったくった文化らすりゃ安いもんだ。なに、足りなくなったら店の権利書もらうだけだ。あんたには別の店でコックとして働いてもらう。無理だよ、その話中国の包丁はよく切れるな。これだったら人間の首も真っ二つだ。試してみてえな。シ<笑>ン<笑><笑>さんの料理はうまいって評判じゃねえか。<笑><笑>本家からの呼び出しです。六代目の件で話があると。や、やばい、無理だよ。あ,あ。そうか。まあ。無理なら。仕方ない。怖がらせるようなことしてすまなかったな、新さんよ。これは迷惑料だ。取っておいておくれ。え俺は新さんと一緒に仕事がしたかっただけなんだよ。悪かったな、邪魔して。気が変わったら連絡してくれそれじゃじゃあボンハワンダIn Kamaracho, Tokyo. That doesn't sound great. はい、西木山工業。あ、失礼しました。はい、組長なら今事務所にいますが。え、幹部会？本家から緊急の幹部会やと。了解しました。組長に伝えます。
気合い乗ってきたぜ西野平井はいかき集めるだけの兵隊集めろ今夜中じゃはい宮内はい長谷部に連絡やすぐに俺の店潰しにかからせろはい堀内来たはいみんなに電話や中国持って迎えに来い言うとけはい戦争やいよいよ戦争が始まんでお前ら覚悟しとけやはい今から10億ですかおや10億の現代を持って今から来いや神田の兄貴何しでか好きですか戦争や戦争今日から登場会の後目争いが始まるんじゃ兄貴六代目はまだご存命だその話をするのは早いでしょやがいてウィコボイワンとはよ金持ってうんかいわかりましただなこの町は助けてん何なのよ早く誰か警察呼んで痛い話してあらちょっと何なのようるさい今日は貸し切りだ帰れexcuse me excuse me excuse me school girl with glasses where are you where are you where are you I think you might be around here somewhere is it you is it you Oh no, what'll I do? What's wrong? Take it easy. They kicked me out of the club, but I hadn't paid yet. Does that mean it was free? Huh? I ordered some expensive drinks today, so I'll feel guilty if I just up and leave. Plus, it'll make things awkward the next time I come in. Okay. Where's this school girl with? Hello. Your face is real pissing me off, asshole. You got something to say for yourself, huh? If you ain't gonna get on the ground and apologize, I'm gonna smash that face into the ground for you. Well, okay.
How did you spin around in the air like that? I didn't mean it, your face is great man, and hey, I'm not even mad anymore, so uh, let me thank you. Take this. An apologetic 5,000 yen. Thank you very much. Right, where the fuck is this schoolgirl? Dressed like a schoolgirl with glasses, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Is it you? Ah, <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> Nice. He's just out cold. That girl did a screams awaken a hidden power. The drunk only stuns and comply like that. Wow, she countered his grapple like a pro. Scream awaken a hidden, maybe. Nothing happened. Oh well. Maybe it was the pro thing. What's this? Camaracho locker key number 15. There's Camaracho lockers as well. Fuck. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Some Yakuza just burst in and slammed a suitcase full of cash on the table. I've never seen that much money in my life. I wonder how fat those stacks were. Okay. Hey, you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? And who are you? Another Yakuza here to keep me out of the club? I'm a friend of the owner, actually. Who was the guy who threw you out? Don't ask me. I was just minding my own business, drinking with this hunk of a host, when some yak as a jerk barges in with arms full of cash and says the club's booked. Really gets my blood boiling. I can see that. <sighs> some jerk from the Nishikiyama family said he needed to talk to the owner, so they tossed everyone out. Even me. Me! Did you say Nishikiyama? Yeah, his hair was some kind of crazy too. Like dreads, or cornrows, or whatever they call it. Anyway, I hope Kazuki-kun's okay. I'm awfully worried about him. Right. Kiryu-san. Hi, boys. Kiryu-san. Hmm. The fuck are you, pretty boy? You don't know? That's the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Kazuma Kiryu-san. Huh? Oh. Oh, I know you. Then you'll know to back off. Open those ears real good, fourth chairman, huh? I don't know what you're strolling in here for, but let me set the record straight. Me and these gentlemen? We're just having a friendly little chit-chat. Not a suspicious thing about it. Cross my heart and hope to die. So why don't you go running along home? Kazuki, what's going on here? This guy came in and started saying he wanted to buy the club. Who are you, anyway? Name's Sasebe, captain of the Nishikiyama family. You know, the one wrestling controller this whole damn city? What? 
So look, we just want to borrow your pal's club for a bit. We're playing nice now, but you don't want to see what happens when we don't. Why do you need the club? Well, that just doesn't even deserve an answer now, scram pal. So what do you say? 300 mils of damn pi mighty pile of cash. As I think you can see. And hey, it's just one measly month. That time will fly by quicker than a bat out of hell. I think I know what you want it for. You're going to turn this place into your base of operations for a Yakuza war. Guess you don't survive long in this Camarocho without knowing it, how its shadier side operates, huh? I also know who your target is, the Kazama family. What? Ha, huh, you're one smart cookie buddy. But not smart enough to accept our offer. We've got other ways of convincing you if you need that little push. Oh good, an army. という a Tojo clan subsidiary. Oh no, you didn't. Run away from the sword! Run away from the sword! I'm gonna come get this guy instead. Oh, I missed. I was so close though. Ow! I can't dodge out of the way of that very fast. Hold that. Ow! Seriously! I tried to dodge, but it didn't work.
Gotta bring the heat. I do a head press because apparently I don't know anything else. And then completely miss my attack afterwards, of course. Amazing. Can I pick up this? My inventory is full, okay. This looks like a perfect time to use some. What's that? Health and heat. Perfect. Ow. But how do you block everything? You can't block onto it, that's the problem. Okay, you dropped your sword. You dropped your sword. You dropped your sword. You dropped your sword. Excuse me, I'm just going to take this, okay? <laughs> oh, come on, I blocked that. The war is just getting started. Okay, well, that's a significant improvement from uh, looking after some kids in an orphanage, right? I think, personally. The curtain rises. ああ。ああ。じゃあ、本当にホスト同士の喧嘩なんですね。ええ。ごめんはこうおかけして申し訳ありません。お長警察の連中追い払うまで我慢してください。オーケー。イシュッビー、イエス。でシームトビリーブミーウェンアイトル
Can you go check on them for his year? You got it. There's something I need to talk to you about, Kiryu-san. What's that? It concerns Kamarocho. Oh? The city has changed in the two years since you've left. Or perhaps it would be better to say the Tojo clan has changed. More specifically, the power structure. What do you mean? It has to do with the Nishikiyama family. They've always been forceful, to say the least. Even with their old bosses, Nishikiyama-san and Shindo in charge. Shindo? Is he the big, bald guy who I'm pretty sure we keep killing, but apparently he keeps coming back. But ever since this new guy has taken the reins, their bloodlust has been uncontrollable. They're trying to seize every last shop in Kamarocho, even those under Tojo control. I can't imagine Kashiwagi-san would take that sitting down. True enough, but as captain of the Tojo clan, he makes it a point to avoid internal conflict whenever possible. Most shops have been able to resist the Nishikiyama advances, given their long history with the Kazama family, but, but something's changed. Yes. At first it was just vague threats and attempts at coercion but it seems recently the Nishikiyama families come into a massive sum of money. So they're bribing all the holdouts. Exactly, their stake in Kamarocho has expanded nearly tenfold over the past year. And they don't care that their newfound territory is coming from another Tojo family? So much for honour. Of course, the Kazama family won't stand by and let their stores be snatched away. Tensions have been extremely high. Nobody's sure what may be the spark that sets off a full-fledged Yakuza war, but most people seem to believe it's coming one way or another. More likely than not, that's why the Nishikiyama family wants our club to use as their base of operations during that war. Makes sense. It's not far from the Kazama office over in the Millennium Tower, and it's one of the biggest shops in town. Hello? Hello? おるなら今、カムロ町にいます。本当か。ええ。俺も柏木さんに話したいことがありましたから。今どこにいる？スターダストです。スターダストだと。何か警察が集まっているみたいだが、何かあったのか？ええ。西木山組の連中と店の中で
ダイゴの安否を確かめるためかこんなこと言いたくありませんがもしダイゴさんが亡くなっているとしたらアトメを狙っている組織にとってこれ以上嬉しいニュースはありませんからねどちらにせよキリュウさんの味方じゃないことだけは確かですお気をつけてあ,あ分かったThe cops are crawling all out in front of Millennium Tower. I think we've got a way around them. Uh, east towards Nakamichi. Cut across by Club Sega. Keep going until you hit Pink Street. Take that up and around. Nakashima, Club Sega, Pink Street. Got it. Isn't this the way out? Isn't that the exit? No, oh, this is the exit. Go to the Millennium Tower. So I want to go to... Uh, Nakamichi Street. And then he said Club Sega, right? So if that's Nakamichi Street... There's Club Sega, Pink Street, and then up and around. So I guess he means that way. So right. Okay. I saw a sparkly glowy. Camaracho, lucky key. And then we want to come down here. And then we want to come across here. Lucky key number one, that's got to be the best one. Over to Pink Street. And then up and around. Yay! Avoid the police. I don't have time to end up in a police interview. Gotta find the loop. Wait. This is the way that he told me to go, right? Or did he mean up here, maybe? No, that's a policeman. That guy definitely said Pink Street and then up and around, unless I, I guess he means cut across the alley there. Let's try that. Oh, sigh. What's with all the rosas then? Now that's another policeman there. Hello. That's another policeman there. What the fuck? I should try to sneak in from Pink Street. Which is this one. What? Very confused. I am super duper confused. Where does Pink Street go?
So that and that definitely had policemen on. That one definitely does. Oh, what if we go through there? I wonder if there's like a... Kiri is so confident. I love it. Oh my god, it's the men in black. Here come the men in black. Why do I get so easily... Uh... Dude, you need to calm down. I'm trying desperately to dodge, but I can't. It won't let me. Right, I just want to take this bike so that I can do that. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. How do I learn other moves, I wonder? Because this head press is great. But I'm curious what the other ones look like. Oh, what cheat? Who were they? No time to think about that now. Got to get back to Millennium Tower. Yes, I do. Foreigner in a black suit. He must be with those guys I fought off. Hey, you there. We need to talk. Get back here. Damn it. I need to know what these guys are up to. Don't let it get away. Press square to tackle when you're near. Successfully striking your target will reduce their stamina. Uh, running into passers-by while dashing will stop your momentum. You will lose if you get too far. Okay. Press X during a chase to jump over obstacles. Now jump over those trash cans. Hmm. You 
may be prompted to press X. Uh, press the button at the right time to activate a special action. Okay, nice. Hey, you with those guys from before? Ow! <laughs> Ow! It's it's Mac. <laughs> Don't touch my beautiful face. Go for the meh parts of me. Maybe my forearms. I've always thought they were too skinny. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, Kirisan. You're the guy I met in. Oh, it is Mac. <laughs> You're the guy I met in Okinawa. Mac, right? What are you doing up in Kamarocha? Didn't I tell you I was going to travel the world in search of the perfect shot? Well, it just so happens this grimy old town was the first stop on my global getaway. Got to keep it local before I let Mac attack loose on the unsuspecting people of the world, you know. Forget I asked. Why did you run from oh. me? Uh, ow! Well, think about it. I just strolled up to see the most amazing flash of fists break out in some random little alleyway. One lone man versus an entire thug army. My eyes were super glued to that shit, man, so I kept watching, thinking maybe I'd finally snagged the perfect shot I've been looking for for all these years. But the scuffle was over before my shutter even clicked. Then out of the blue, the guy who kicked those American asses to kingdom come starts coming my way, and I was quaking in my, in my goddamn boots. So I ran. Never would have guessed that macho man was you, Kiryu-san. You, uh, take photos of random street fights? Whatever. It's safe to say you're not working with those guys. Oh, <laughs> Ow, me? No. I know I've got the scary suit and all, but I wouldn't hurt a fly, or anything else for that matter. By the way, you got some legs on you, curious son. They used to call me the scampering chicken in my high school track team, but man, you're on a whole nother level. You know what? I think it's actually fate that we crossed paths here today. Actually, I'm sure of it. Nothing but the sweet string of destiny could bring us back together. Which reminds me, I've got a special place I want to show you. Interested? As long as it's nothing weird. Oh, you don't have to worry about something. Actually, let's not. It's email time. Well, let's just forget I ever invited you. A buddy of mine in town just asked me out for a drink, and I'm not the kind of guy to say no to a drink. Sorry, you got a jet. Wait, you have friends? Heck yeah, I do. This one's a special friend, over in that special place I was telling you about. And hey, I got pals in like 13 different time zones. Anyway, curious son. I'll roll out the red carpet for you sometime, yeah? Catch you later. Uh... Well, he's an interesting guy. I'm sure I'll run into him again sooner or later. At least he's out of my hair, though. Now to get to Millennium Tower and meet with Kashiwagi-san. The Scent of Mac. Sorry for getting you all tied up earlier, curious san But man, you don't waste any time getting what you want. By the way, my girlfriend's been hammering more and more Japanese into my brain hole. So I think I'm getting pretty good. Mind if I keep practicing with you? And before I forget, I got news for you. There are rumours floating around like uh, around town like a pungent fart. Some sourced up thugs have been pretending to pole dance outside Club Asia. You know, Bikini Bar. I hear you got to go inside and watch the show first, then you can walk out and watch another. Look at all the side quests. Look at them all. But... Side quests can wait for another time, I'm afraid. It is now time for me to read this email. What's up, Kiryu-san? It's Kamiyama. We met in Okinawa. Just wanted to let you know my brother has a shop called uh, in Amarocho. It's called Kamiya Works Kamarocho. Tell him I said hi if you ever stop by his shop later. Great. Send some stuff to the item box. A worm can go, a worm can go, a prawn can go, a worm can go, a squishy ball can go, that can go. Marvellous. And save. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to follow me on Twitch if you're watching from Twitch. Subscribe to me on YouTube if you're watching from YouTube. It's free. And it helps me out a lot. Hooray. Hooray. Win wins for everybody. Good old double wins. Uh, my next stream will be uh, probably super early tomorrow morning, actually. Um, 
because I'm flying flying off to Norway in the afternoon. So I won't be streaming tomorrow night. So I'll get a stream done in the morning because between you and me, there's a Twitch achievement for streaming 25 days in a row or something. And that's what I'm after. So I gotta, gotta stream. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.